Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say. Let's see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is from the Porterhouse Brewing Company, which is the largest genuine Irish brewery. Now, this is directly out of Dublin, Ireland. This is the Oyster Stout, guys. 100% Irish, it says right on the label on both sides. Brewed in Ireland. They're very proud of this. It's got it in big letters all over the bottle. And what's rather unique about this, well let me read on something about 5.2% alcohol by volume, bottle condition, unpasteurized. This gently flavored stout has a raw, raw roast malt character, full body and aromatic, aromatic character from the Golding's hops. Fresh oysters added during the brewing process lend a discernible yet unidentifiable note. Uh, the grain is pale malt, roast barley, black malt, flake barley. Hops is Galena, Nugget, East Kent Goldings. So, a uh, lot of information there. What's, uh, what's unique about this bottle? It's an 11.2. It's a little smaller than a 12, but it's a bottle, but it's got a pull tab here, guys. Like a beer, like a beer can. It's got a tab so you don't have to have a bottle opener, so I don't get to use my bottle opener. Damn it! Oh, well. That's what I do. So, let me give you a little more information here. This is an Irish dry stout, 5.20 ABV, year-round serving from these guys. Uh, the food pairing, cuisine, be barbecue, Latin American, uh, and the uh, meat for this is smoked meat and grilled meat. And uh, glass bar is a pint glass today. You can use a Becker Stein, the mug. Uh, on the uh, stout, I usually use the Duvel glass, but this is only a 5.2, so. This should be a fairly sessionable with that low ABV on this one. So, I've not had this one before. So, uh, was uh, was kind of intrigued by the the cap on it with the pull tab, and uh, uh, also when I was in Asheville uh, over the summer, uh, I got to, to uh, have that oyster stout down there, and it was very very enjoyable. So, we're gonna give this one a try. So, without further ado, let's get this thing open. Look at that. I don't think I've ever done a, done a beer with that type of cap on it before. So, uh, rather unique. I don't know, I might have to pull that back down and pull that down like that. And what do you think guys? I got to put on the refrigerator on the green fridge downstairs? Yeah, we're going to give it a try. Let's get it in the glass see what this one's about. Right from Ireland. Let's go down the center and see what kind of head we're going to get on this. Oh yeah, look at here. Looks like we're going to get us at least a finger ahead anyway. Alright. That looks very good in the glass. I don't think for a bottle conditioned, unpasteurized. I mean, that thing is as clear as a bell in there. And it is not cloudy at all. This almost looks like a tea. Or a very light, weak cola. I mean, it's very, it's very transparent. I mean, I can see right through it. I can see the bubbles. It is a rich ruby, brownish ruby color. Very nice. Not thick looking at all. Not for a for a pour. So, uh, that's good. And the head's still, uh, the head's still there. Yeah, got some big bubbles in there, but uh, very nice looking in the glass, guys. Let's put a nose on it. <sighs> Smells very Guinness-esque, if you know what I'm saying there. Sort of Irish-English style with the, uh, the lighter ABV. Got 
got the roasted malt going on there. Not getting anything off the oysters in there in the in the uh, in the nose here. I smell a rich roasty malt. Basically, all I'm getting from here on the nose. Maybe just a tad of coffee, not much. Maybe some toffee or something like that, guys. Let's give it a taste and see what we get. I like that. Get a little bit of a of a smoky taste too. Very nice mouth feel on this one. Very pleasant. Thought it would be thin and watery, but it's really not that bad. The head gives it a nice little creaminess too. That is very nice. I think that's delicious. I could session this very easy. Well, I like it guys. Nothing outstanding in one field or the other, one way or the other. Very easy drinking, very sessionable. Uh, very nice tasting stout. Just a little bit of saltiness is all I'm getting from the oysters. That's all I'm getting is just, just a little bit of crackery saltiness there, a little breadiness there. So that may be coming from the yeast, I'm not sure, but it may be from the oysters they use in the brew. So I'm gonna let it warm up, let the other half sample some of this, but uh, I believe it's above average beer, huh? I'm liking what they're doing. Pretty tasty, guys. Stick around, let's see what this can get. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left here. I mean, it's almost like a like a porter than it is a stout. I mean, when I think of stouts, I think of something really dark. And this, I mean, I can see right through this. It's a, it's not really really used motor oil dark anyway. So, uh, very nice, very sessionable. I mean, it's uh, very easy drinking. Uh, it doesn't have a overwhelming taste or flavor one one direction or other. A little bit of coffee, the roasted malt. Very nice. Very nice. Final shot, guys. Got just a little bit of a dry, salty taste to me, too, to go with it. But very pleasant, though. So, I mean, if you can get this beer fairly cheap and uh, want to session this beer, it's a good sessionable beer. Uh, I like mine just a little bit more roastier and a little more coffee-ish or chocolatey or whatever there so the, in my ta in my my taste it's a little on the light side this would be like a light a light pointer to me or a light stout uh guys i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it the uh, i'm gonna give it a six it's a solid b that's a b beer as far as i'm concerned it's above average it's a decent beer if you see it give it a try uh, i was intrigued by the top here plus it was an oyster stout with a pull tab like a can so don't think I've reviewed one that had that type of cap. I'm not sure. I don't remember doing it anyway. So, uh, Rate Beer has 87 overall and 77 in a style. And a, a B in uh, Rate Beer. I mean, a beer advocate gives it a B also. So, uh, I agree with that. It's a solid B beer as far as I'm concerned, guys. So, give me some comments back on this one if you've had this one. This one's right out of uh, the Dublin, Ireland. So, it is 100% Irish, guys. If you like Irish beers, especially in a dry stout, Pick it up. Give it a try. And uh, go always write, comment, subscribe. Come on back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. See you then.